Ladies and gentlemen, the market is in the mud, and if you did have coins, you probably don't anymore, which is why I'm going to be building them back up for you. If you're new around here and you need to go from 1k to a million coins, you are in the exact place you need to be, and all you've got to do to say thank you is drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and if you need your weekend league games played, awesome coins, well, if you guys are still stuck with a team like this, and everyone you play in champs has a team like this, then you need to head over to Skycoach in the link below. Not only have they got the cheapest and most reliable service for FIFA coins, you can pick any amount of coins, select your console, and put in code PROREECALL for 10% off. Now, first of all, we're going to head over to the SBC section. Now, if you are on zero, if you have no coins at all and you want to build up to that zero to 200k range, I am going to link the video that I've done recently because that was perfect for that group. Now, of course, we are still going to go through things on the bottom end, but if you really need that range, I will link a video down in the description that I've done over the last few days. Now, obviously, right now, there aren't many SBCs that are going to make us coins. I mean, what here can actually benefit us? Obviously, the Premium Mixed League is always a coin maker method but out of this what else is going to be useful now we've obviously got your tradable team of the week upgrade now a lot of us can do this from untradables it's very easy to craft this for free now if you've got the untradables to do it get it done it is a guaranteed profit if you've got it in your club and you can turn that 30k that you get back from it into a load more coins which is of course what we went through before now additionally if you do need an extra boost on the coin side of things head over to born legend or rising star now not only can you do these for free because you've got the daily bronze silver and gold back but it's a very easy way to make yourself some coins so if you think about it not only can you pack promo cards in the silver and common gold players packs because any player that is put in a promo that is originally a silver or gold common can still be packed in these packs which is really really good to be honest you can also get coins from all these packs anyway so if you think about it a common player right now probably going for about 350 coins to be fair they don't really have a huge load of value if we have a look uh you've got 700s fours things like that i mean realistically you could sell them for 350 on bid very easily so let's say from your free common players pack you got three of them you're of course going to get Get around a thousand coins which isn't too bad at all then from the silver pack it's a pretty similar story if we pop one of these open now actually i can't because i've just got a load of duplicates but we've done it before basically i will show you i've got duplicates i'm not just saying it and um, but as i say you can do those packs it's very easy to make two to three k between the two of them now obviously as you can see my duplicates there very easy to make some coins out of the two of them so what you want to do get those done and you can do them on every single icon you've seen i've done most icons that are there if they're not new i've already done them and i will get around to them obviously Drogba uh, and we've got of course Crespo there I mean I'm still really tempted to get this card done because I just know I'm not going to be able to handle people dunking on me on weekend league and um, he would fit pretty perfectly if I move Pele to right wing that's not a bad that's not a bad team now going into the transfer market of course is our next step now as I said before, if you do need that sort of 30k to 200k range, once you've got that tradable team of the week done, honestly, check out the recent video because it was very sort of thorough on that kind of range. But now we're going to go through on that starting out around that 200k mark to make some absolute bank. Now, remember, if you've got 200k, you don't need to be spending 200k on your filters. Of course, that is a common misconception. Everyone thinks, well, I've got a million coins. I need to snipe a million coin players. No, really, you probably need to do 200k players and you can get five of them for that. So obviously, looking at the new promo where things have been pretty damn crazy at the start so far so if we have a look first of all at the likes of your special item and i mean what cards come up for this i mean it's weird that they don't have it laid out properly in the store yet we still actually can't snipe these properly but you've got the likes of sabitza going for some crazy prices you've got covert shelly there as well and um, if we scroll along if he's got sabitza and dav there's a few players there now if we scroll down i believe there's a few variations of these in the store the store and the, the selection here. So we've got to make sure we're on the right one. So you've got, that's the path to the group stage of the Euros. I think that's the Copper America. If we have a look here, it is a... If it's the same, it's just a special item. I don't know why it just says special item. Now, heading over to Footwin, we're going to go to the Euros Path to Glory players first because those are the ones that I think are easiest to make filters out of. Of course, we've got Sabitza at around, I think, the 300k mark. Now, this is off of Footbin, so we can find that these prices are a little bit off. But what it does show is that we've got a few good players in the German league that look like some easy snipes. So if we head over to the Bundesliga, we're going to go over to, of course, this variation of the special item. I really think they need to change it because it's really frustrating frustrating uh, that we don't have sort of more visibility around this now if we go at max 200 we've got obviously Schick, Sazali there both of these are going to be pretty useless in terms of any snipes we've got full Krog there now the players that we want to look at are Olmo and Sabitza now luckily both of those are midfielders now if we hop on this as midfielders I hope 
we should be just looking at our boy Olmo. So as we can see, he's sat there at a fair price. He's going for 144k. His minimum is 70. And we got Sabitza there is a minimum of 90 going for about 300k. So if we pop this up to 300 here, we should maybe see a Sabitza filter in at the end there. There you go. We've got a Sabitza here sitting bang on 300k. Now, obviously, realistically, we're mostly going to be picking up Olmo's in this filter. But you've got that availability there. I would say with these cards especially, there have been a lot of mistakes made. As I said a couple days ago, I picked up a Carl Walker. I think it was when he went, he had a massive sporadic day on his first day. I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't be able to sort of afford him at one point because he was going from, I don't really like to have any less than a million coins in my balance. If I show you guys right now, if I take away this one there, I mean, you can see there, yeah, 1.7 mil. So I don't really like to have any less coins than like a mil in my account because I like to be able to trade and, and pick up whoever I want. And I wanted that walker so bad. And he went to 1.7. I was thinking, this is this is not looking good. Now, this guy goes for about 150. EA tax on that is going to be 7.5k. If you can pick him up at 140 or below, you're making 2.5k. Now, obviously, 2.5k is not amazing when you're putting that much down as a, as a deposit on the card to make the profit. So you can choose at that point, okay, if I've only got 500k, maybe I need to be making 10k a card. Now, at that point, you just want to knock this down to about 133 but you would miss the snipes like that. And that's the thing. You've got to decide, do I want to miss some snipes in order to guarantee my profit is higher? Because your profit will be guaranteed to be higher. But as I say, you'll miss a snipe like this. So that's two and a half K you wouldn't have made if you were only looking to make those bigger profits. And it is a decision you have to make yourself. And it is a decision if you've only got 150k then that's probably the direction i'd go I'd maybe maybe knock it down a little bit further maybe go to 135 make sure you're making 7k 7.5k per card and then realistically you're making exactly the same as ea is off that card so that's one way to look at it you make the same that ea do off of your snipe which is kind of a nice feeling because at least you don't feel like you're getting as much finessed by the tax i mean it's good that tax is only five percent so obviously for those of you who didn't know already if you didn't tax is five percent of the sale so if i sell that card at 150 they take away seven points which is decent because even all the way 150k i'm not even paying 10k tax when you get to higher ranks that's where things get a little bit more difficult when you're on 500k you're paying quite a lot uh, in your tax there obviously 25k a card it's not as nice now as you can see we're not seeing these cards at that rate uh, as much as we were seeing them the first one we saw two 140s pop up i didn't pick up the second one because it came up too quickly sometimes the market does drop we don't want to lose coins on two so you can, that is another way to look at it is obviously if you snipe lower, you're going to be more safe as far as the market's concerned. And we got a 132. So that is a total profit. That one there would in theory be, I'm trying to think if we pop that one up for, so 150, it would have been, I'm being stupid, aren't I? 8k 2.5 10.5k which on top of the other one means we've made 13k off of this method which is actually pretty damn good in such a short amount of time now a simple filter on the lower end of things with this one if we go ahead and go for forward let's just have a look there's quite a few decent ones kind of sitting at that 40k range so you can hop it down here obviously you've got the likes of vlahovic there who do actually crop up in a little bit of a higher scale here we've got vlahovic at 80k and um, you've got a couple of these like full krog at a little bit more uh sitting around that, that sort of 50k mark i think he is but then the, the likes of Schick bring that down so you do have a selection here obviously I don't think Lukaku is going to be coming up anytime soon but if we pop this down to a 30k I think 30k is the cheapest one right now you've got the likes of Schick here so you can kind of use that as a filter the problem is obviously being that Schick is so low you kind of avoid those better cards now one thing we can do if we push up a little bit further you've obviously got the likes of Skriniar as a center back I mean what do the center backs look like actually that's not a bad shout have a look at the cheapest ones there. We've got Skriniar there, Saliba, Sazazlai. See, there's some cards that really are lower in things, but one card that really stuck out to me there is Gavardio. Now, the reason he sticks out to me is actually they've got three Man City defenders in this. We've got Ruben Diaz. We've got Gavardio, who is 400, 200k. 200 and we've got Walker. Now, obviously, all three of these are Prem defenders. So what we can actually do, make this a little bit spicier, is we can also include Saliba. Now, there's a very easy filter to do with Saliba and Ruben Diaz. They're only about 500k apart. And as much as that sounds a lot, you're at 1, one mil, 1.5 mil. It, it snipes are definitely still there. Now, this one here, obviously, Gavardio. He has, unfortunately quite a large price range which means actually he kind of takes away the ability to do a ruben diaz and solely carl walker filter so that kind of takes away from that however we will do this filter on the basis that yes you can still potentially get the boys they're available they're not 
as likely. Um, obviously, it's not going to be easy to pick up a snipe on Walker who is 700k more. Is 700k more? 600k more, I think, maybe? Yeah, about 600k more. It, it, it's, it's very unlikely that that's going to happen. Is it impossible? No. Have we seen better snipes in history? Yes. And obviously, I know that's a... It's one of them phrases like, in history? It's like, it's difficult. But Carl Walker's a mill right now. He's gone up and down a lot. As I say, I sniped him for a 300k profit on the day he came out. Now, that's obviously a very good profit and no way am I turning that down. But there's better profits available and we can definitely get one. Now, at 260, EA tax here is going to be 26, one point, the 13k. So that's just off what we want. But that is very, very close to what we want there. So obviously, we would want to go down by, I mean, to be fair, it's probably about 265. So realistically, we're looking at about a 15k EA tax. So you probably want to, oh, that, that would probably be... That would probably be near where we'd be at, to be fair. I'd want to go 255, to be fair. Maybe a little bit lower, because realistically, you don't want to be on the mark with a card that you're laying down 250k for, because if that moves literally 2, 3k, you've lost your profit. So that's where, at least with Olmo, because he's a little bit more, you know, he's still in the point where EA tax is only like under 10k, where now we're paying minimum 10k EA tax. This is where things get a little bit more sticky in terms of, being careful, making sure that we're not getting absolutely finessed um, because it's, it's possible. It's possible. And we do not want to be the guys who get finessed by uh, a stinky filter uh, with, with Gavardio. And do you know what? Funny enough, um, speaking of Gavardio, I packed Gavardio like 10 minutes into this promo, right? I then went on to pack Ruben Diaz, right? So I've got a center back and I've got a, a, a center back slash left back. And I still went on to buy Kyle Walker, the center back slash right back. I have a full city defense uh, who can all play center back and can both two of which can also pay. Oh, <laughs> why? That would have been such a love. 30k. We've just lost 30k. Out. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to leave you high and dry and not give you another big stonking filter that's actually going to work. We've got the big dogs here. Now, of course, Vlahovic and Kovac Smelly need to get rid of this one. So let's just have a look at Vlahovic price range. Seven. Look, they just don't want us to snipe. I'm not going to lie, guys. Vlahovic. But that does that does leave one other player, actually. So let's just have a look. I just want to see if this is what I think it is. Because I think... Oh, he's not available. See, that's pretty jarring because I thought we could also get Chiesa, who seemingly... If we have a look, Kiesa is 1.5 mil, but he's a left mid, which is so annoying. But what we can do, there is a, still a way around this. So what you'd want to do is obviously we've got Vlahovic, who, who is a no, is a no go. What you want to do is work out how much your Carvart Shelley is. So if we go to left wing, we go 400, is it 400k? Maybe 350, 360, 370, 390. So he goes for, we'll say 390k. I think that's pretty reasonable. EA tax is about 20k because it's near 400. So realistically, we'd need to snipe him here, right? 360. So what we do is we can pop away that. We'll go forward. We'll go 360. And then we need to go all the way to the end. Now, the problem is a load of these mons have listed this guy. So what we'll do is we'll do the minimum buy now as 200k. Let's see if there's any of these. So what we need to do is minimum buy now is 300k. So as you can see there, so none of these have that. Now what I can do is I can just compare price off of this card and then any Kovac Shelly that comes up is going to be in the price range I want. Now, of course, this is not as easy as general sniping and this is something you've got to be a bit more precise with. But the profit is there. If a Kavart Shelly comes up, we make an absolute bank. So it's a method that works. Obviously, it's a shame. I think they will fix some of the price ranges. Right now, they haven't been fixed. So you kind of got to work around with this. And I will be bringing out, of course, we've just touched on the Euros method today. I'll be going through the other clubs in the coming days. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.